Hello everyone, welcome back to my channel. In our previous video, we briefly explained the Linux file system structure. In today's video, we're going to be looking at a few commands to help us navigate through the Linux file system structure. Okay, so let me start by opening a new terminal. By the way, I am logged in as the root user for this lesson. So I'll start by opening a new terminal. Okay. And then I also want to open this directory and I'll come to other locations and then open computer and place this side by side so that we can look and see what we are doing. The reason why I'm opening um, the directory from the GUI and the command line is very simple. Um, for those of you that may have the liberty of installing a graphical user interface, it's fine. You can just click your way through and you know navigate through your 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 directory. But then, in a corporate environment, you know ninety percent of the time you may not be allowed to install a GUI. Okay, so in that case, you'll be using just the command line interface. That's why I've opened the two windows side by side. Now, if you remember, we said something in our previous video that the parent directory, which is denoted by the forward slash, is quite different from the root user's home directory. On the command line, we are still somewhere around the root user's home directory. Why on the GUI, we are already at the parent directory, okay? So, for us to be able to move to the parent directory, the first command we want to take note of is the CD, which is short form for change directory. And remember, the parent directory is denoted with the forward slash. So, space, forward slash, and enter. This is our first command, cd, change directory, okay? Now, for us to be sure that we're actually, you know, at the parent directory, the next command we're going to use is the pwd, which is short form for print working directory. So, I'll hit enter. And then it shows us that we are actually at the root directory, the parent directory. Okay. So we don't, from the command line, we don't know what the contents are. We don't know what, what are the things that are contained in this directory. So the next command for us to use to list the contents of the directory is the ls, which is a short form for list so i hit enter and then it begins to list all the sub directory that are contained within the root directory okay now compare the list we have here and what we have on the gui you can see that we have virtually the same thing We have virtually the same thing, bin, dev, home, lib, 64. You can see them, bin, dev, you have boot, you have home, and all whatnot, okay? Now, also remember the fact that, you know, we had mentioned earlier that for you to get a proper description of any command and then possibly see other options that are available with the command, you can run man against the command and then it will give you the description of that command and then also any available option. Okay, so I'll leave that as an assignment for you to do, but there's an option to be used with the ls command, okay, which is ls space dash l and enter. So this time around, it gives us the same listing, but in a more detailed format. So 
from our results, we can see the owners of the file. We can see the group owners. We can see the date the file was created and all what not. Okay. So for us to be able to navigate also into the subfolders, okay, again, we have to change directory. For each of the folders you want to explore, you want to view, you want to view the content. First, you have to change directory to that particular folder. Okay. So let's assume that I want to get into slash etc directory. Okay. All I need to do is cd space etc and enter. And then the next thing I want to do is to list the content of the etc directory. So first I'm going to open from the GUI. So we'll see the contents and then I'll come here and then do ls space dash l and enter. So you can compare the contents of this and then the result of our listing to be sure that everything we have here is everything we have here. Okay. Let's start from the beginning of our result. Now you can see ABRT, ABRT, which is a sub directory. Okay. And then you can see the ADJ time you can see here, which is a file. You can see aliases, which, which is also a file. You can see the same thing here. You can see aliases.db. You can see the same thing here. So everything we have in this folder is what has been listed here. So you can see that it's very simple to actually navigate through your file system without any stress. The only thing you need to remember, you know, are just these three commands. First, PWD, which is print working directory that shows you the directory you're working from. And then the second is change directory, okay, which is CD. You can CD to anything. You can CD to, to any of the, the subdirectories. And then the next one is LS, which enables you to list the content of the directories. Okay, now the final thing I want to say to you is if you need to use any command you've typed before, okay, you don't need to retype again. Just use your up arrow key on your terminal. You can see I just used my up arrow key and then it, it brought back the ls l that I typed. If you keep going, you keep seeing previous commands that you've used in the past. Okay. So I hope this video was interesting to you. If it was, kindly like it, share it widely, and do not forget to subscribe to this channel, okay, and turn on the notification bell icon so that you don't miss out whenever I upload a new content. And I'll see you in my next video. Bye for now.